Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today, we bring viewers the unexpected and dramatic moments of the Thursday, June 20th episode of The Young and the Restless. Be prepared for intense family dynamics, corporate activities, and revenge plots. The first interesting development concerns Claire's challenging first meeting with Katie. While Johnny tries to break the ice and shows genuine curiosity about Claire's life and adventures, Katie's reaction is the exact opposite. Despite Victoria's efforts to mend the relationship, Katie remained angry, harboring resentment about Jordan's past actions and taking some of that anger out on Claire. Katie sees Claire as an extension of her menacing Aunt Jordan, which further complicates family relationships. Claire, who is usually optimistic, finds herself drowning in negativity, worried that she will never receive true acceptance from all of her siblings. This emotional turmoil sets the stage for more dramatic interactions within the Newman family. Meanwhile, Victor issues a warning, not only to himself but mainly to Devin. Devin, planning to fly to Paris with Abby to check on Ashley, faces delays due to the jet refueling. This pause gives Victor an opportunity to warn Devin about Tucker's volatility. Victor, who may or may not reveal his role as a secret investor, warns that Tucker's recent losses, including Glissade and Audra, could push him over the edge. Devin, worried about Tucker's mental state, sees this as a compelling reason to go to Paris and ensure Ashley's safety. However, it's possible that Tucker has truly accepted his defeat and is focusing on soul-searching away from Genoa City. On the corporate front, Lily has an important update for Billy about the deal she signed with Daniel to avoid a lawsuit. But that's not all and Lily wants to revisit the idea previously suggested by Billy of running Chancellor Winters as a power duo. Lily admits her interest but reveals that there is a catch. She plans to push the agenda she discussed with Devon, potentially tricking Billy into agreeing to split up the company. Her goal is to convince Billy to dissolve the merger, allowing her to finance Chancellor's eventual merger with Devon and Nate's family business. Billy, sensing a possible plot, will likely ask Lily some tough questions. There's also the possibility that Lily could change her mind and betray Devon at some point, adding another layer of corporate intrigue. This meeting could lead to a new wave of turmoil within the company as alliances shift and strategies are deployed. Follow our channel for more interesting things. As family conflicts intensify and corporate strategy evolves with unexpected challenges, the tragedy in Genoa City is far from over.